It should be 7.08 in Seattle. If you are in the east side, staying up with us, thank you so much. We are on with the first 45 minutes of this one. 18 minutes gone. And another transcendent opportunity here for the Los Angeles Galaxy. Yes, that's a golazo. Goal! And put the stamp on it. And the Los Angeles Galaxy take the lead, Chris. And that is poor defending from a corner. Yes, there's movement, movement. Depew takes it towards the near post, but there's two that go with him, and there's three that are behind him that are stuck with Derek Williams, the center back. Roldan doesn't stay with Chicharito. Knew who doesn't stay with Chicharito. And that header in the Premier League with Manchester United with the back of his head popped into my mind. You remember that? <laughs> what a finish. Cross comes into the heart of the box, and Bond will keep it. Jonathan Bond is having some wall issues, it would appear, so maybe. It's going to be Lolaid. Oh! And look at that. He goes straight to goal. Let's have a look at it from behind the strike. You can see wow. the bend on it starts from inside of the post, but with the left footed strike, it's always going to curl away. You know, imagine Bond probably had that covered. But... To Atlanta United, lead assistant to Brian Schmetzer. He has an opportunity for Rui Diaz. Looks like a penalty kick from Bond. He's not getting the call just yet. Bizarre collision. Talk to me, Chris W. In real time, but let's have a second look. Makes a great run off the back shoulder of Depew. And then here's the coming together. Yeah, when Rui Diaz runs into Bond, his arms are up high. Let's see here. It's tough. He's obviously going for it. There's a little bit in there from Depew. Want to talk about a great challenge, Chris. And then look at the ball. Well done, Rui Diaz! And that's just wide. It would have been a beautiful goal from the Seattle Sounders. And I know that Raul Rui Diaz is such a prolific goal scorer. He's trying to chase down Tati Castellanos for the golden boot right now. Alvarez, Alvarez, Cabral wants it. Not going to get it over to the right to Chicharito who goes inside, Kellen Rowe gets rid of it. Chicharito back inside, and then the finish from Lechette up the volley, and that is absolutely sensational from Stefan Fry to keep it out. Lechette catches it decently, Rowe with the initial header, but it's great effort there from Chicharito. Lechette getting inside of Yaimar, and he actually reasonably picks out a corner. We saw a beauty off a volley from Lechette against FC Dallas. I think it's the right call from Brian, Chris, not only because you don't want to start with a man down, but also you want to get the substitution with some type of pre-competitive workout. And it's a chance for the Galaxy. Chicharito flicking on there, and it was Revelison on the doorstep. And Fry again handling the danger. And again, you could argue bad defending from Seattle, similar to how that ball got to Chicharito Hernandez in the first half, Chris. Joao Paulo picking up Christian Roldan, making a good run in behind, gets it ahead of Fisher, goes down, and the referee has awarded a penalty to the Seattle Sounders. And initially, it looks too easy. That's a penalty kick. O'Neill Fisher again. We saw the first half play against Rui Diaz who's playing in his first match in six due to an injury. Looks for goal number 17. Will be one off. Golden boot race with a game left to play. Here's Rui Diaz. Goes for the oh. Panenka. It's cheeky from Rui Diaz. And he's drawn Seattle level. To chip that way. It's not the first time we've seen him done this. It's the infamous Panenka. Sending Bond down the ride. It's got to be one of the prettiest Panenkas we've ever seen. Toledo spraying it there for Kellen Rowe. Gets across it towards Rui Diaz. Just couldn't get his head wrapped around it. Really threatened Jonathan Bond. Reading of the game and able to cut that one out. 
Morris has looked sharp since coming on. Araujo chased down by Morris from behind. He's poked it onto Roldan. Cleanly the judge and the referee. Christian Roldan oh. off the post, off the back of Bond, and somehow away for a corner. Jordan Morris on that run from Jordan, but Roldan, what a shot. Crossing completely his effort. We've seen these go inside. I'll try and turn this one either way. Kellen Rowe takes a deflection. Jonathan Bond fortunately watching it as it goes away for a corner to Seattle. <laughs> Joao Paulo and Rowe in central midfield have been impressive for Spetzer. Here's Paulo's corner. It's turned in towards goal at the near post. There's a great flick on there from Christian Roldan. It grazes the woodwork. He also felt like it took a deflection. Move a touch towards goal from that position. I'll just clip it off of Joao Paulo there to get set positionally the Galaxy. Ravellison again. Winning it off of Joao Paulo again as Grancier running beyond him. Ravellis and measuring the strike. Nice left footed oh. curler. Well caught there by Fry. Shane O'Neill. He's turned away from traffic there from Kellen Rowe, who's carried on. The sliding challenge came in from Grancier. And a free kick to come for Seattle and a yellow as well for the Frenchman Grancier. We'll have a game in hand at the end of this night. They'll play it on Wednesday in Austin as Paulo will play the corner in, and the thunderous header is saved by Bond onto the crossbar. As we take a look at the chance for Seattle, this was it. And it was wow. Arriaga again. What a sequence. The header, Bond does a phenomenal job. That's going into the back of the net if Bond doesn't get a glove to that. But going the other way, and that was the goal for the Galaxy. And now Vasquez plays it in from the corner. It's caught there by Fry. And does so by rolling it out to O'Neill. Breakneck pace going forward towards Benese. Fisher there first. He's able to slide it away for a throw. That's a yellow coming here for Shane O'Neill. Paolo to take the free kick. Is there another header in it? It's from Steris. It's away for a corner. And there is the full time whistle. A result that probably won't do either team a world of good.